Hello and welcome to another episode of Doodling Faith. Now you may be wondering where the beautiful female voices of Doodling Bible and Unfiltered Faith have gone this week. Well, unfortunately you're going to be left with me, who is Doodling Bible's less artistic half. And in this special episode, we are going to be proving that even the less artistic ones of us can do Bible journaling. So today we're going to be looking at the Greek word for life. In fact, there are three different words uh, that we find in the New Testament, just alone. Um, you guys can do another study if you like in the Old Testament, looking at the word for life. Now, sometimes in our life we have good things happen to us, and other times we have bad things happen to us in our life. And unfortunately for most of us, as we are human, this often can affect our time that we spend with God or our relationship with God. And it's really important um, that our focus is completely on God throughout our life because it will make us more consistent as Christians, we'll be a better example to those around us, and we'll be really giving God the praise that he really truly deserves. Okay, so today we're going to be looking at Matthew chapter 16, verses 24 to 25. Then Jesus said to his disciples, Whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. For whoever wants to save their life will lose it, but whoever loses their life for me will find it. Now for some of us we can find this scripture a little bit confusing or can seem like a little bit of a riddle. But the real key is to look at the word life. Now, there's three types of word for life in the Greek. And these three words mean very different things. And you guys can do a study in your own time on these three words for life. There is so much stuff around the whole Bible. You could also look into the Hebrew in the Old Testament. But the first word that we have here is the word bios. This is the one that I'm doing at the top of the page. And bios means physical life. It's where we get the word biology from, okay? It is our bios, the very living thing that we are. Now the second word that we have for life is suke, but this is our mind, our intellect, and our human emotion. So it is everything that we can sort of comprehend by ourselves. And finally, we have this last word, which is the Zoe life. And that is the God-breathed breath of life. I believe this was the breath of life that breathed into Adam and gave him his physical life. It is the breath that uh, Ezekiel talks about in the dry bones, and the valley of dry bones. Now, one really cool thing that I recently learned was that when Jesus talks about dying on the cross, he never ever talks about his bios life or his physical life. What he always talks about is dying to his suke life, his human life, his his mind, his intellect, his human emotions, um, the way that he is naturally um, on, as a human. And that is what he talks about when he is dying on the cross. But when he talks about that I have come to give you life and give you life to abundance and give you life in the full, he is talking about that Zoe life, the God breathed life. Matthew 16 verses 25, whoever wants to save their life will lose it, but whoever loses their life for me will find it. What kind of life is this talking about? Well, in this particular scripture, it is talking about the suke life, the same life that Jesus talked about when he died on the cross. He said this, for whoever wants to save their suke life, so uh, wants to preserve everything of their own mind, their own intellect, their own human emotion, okay, will actually lose it. But whoever is willing to lose that suke life for me will find true life. So the real question is, how do we follow Jesus? How do we become disciples? How do we deny ourselves and take up, take up our cross every single day for the Lord Jesus Christ? Well, 
It's quite simple. When Jesus died on that cross, he gave not just his physical life, but he also gave up his suke life. He sacrificed all that he was and he devoted his life to God. When Jesus died on that cross, he said, I will send my spirit with you. The fruits of the spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. But the greatest of these is love because this is where all of the others follow. Jesus says the greatest commandment is to love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. One of the best places for us to start, if we don't know where to start, to live out this life, is just to love him with everything we've got. So I'm afraid my time with you has come to an end. But if you've liked this video, please like it, subscribe it, share it, and please comment on what you think about guys and can they really, really Bible journal. Let's pray. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for this opportunity that we have to live our life. But Father God, I pray that this life that we will live out will be all for you. Lord, I pray that we'll learn to be able to sacrifice our suke life in order that you'll give us life and life to the full in abundance. Lord, so I pray as everybody goes away in Bible journals or whatever they do, Lord, Lord that they will experience you like they have never experienced you before. In Jesus' name, amen.